why do I have this on my head IDGAF review time season two oh season eight episode two of Doctor Who in the words of the bean doctor yes I did say the bean doctor I'll explain later. Top 12 moments in this episode. First episode of season 8, the Doctor did write some stuff down on the floorboards when he was psyched up. But it could be just another prop, like, you know, they just happened to find some writing. Blackboard writing, yay big, and just put it there for show. I don't think so. That's right, I said it. Doctor Who. Doctor was acting as multiple professions in this episode, if I'm making any sense, which I'm probably not, so I'll give an example. So acting as a doctor, a medical doctor, so also acting as a therapist. And he also expressed some interest in Clara, but we'll get to that. I didn't mention this in my last review, opening theme, I think it is fan made, but it's really good speculation about that random schoolgirl that told Clara off. Yeah, it was good to see her back. Not the best last name, but hello. And very sensitive about his past, straight up. My theory is that random important schoolgirl has some relation to Danny, whether it be a cousin, a relative. Clara is moving on. The Doctor is no longer her boyfriend and she has to accept that and she has to move on. And I have another theory. Bom, bom, bom. Clara ends up with Danny and Clara dies and then Danny goes boohoo and then Danny becomes a companion and tries to live on in Clara's memory. Clara is obviously moving on. He still cares about her. This is a very Eleven thing for the Twelfth Doctor to do and it was seen quite a lot throughout this episode. Deep down wishes he was the Matt Smith and well I do too. Back of course they are the top monster of Doctor Who everywhere on the planet, hey Dalek, hey Doctor Who. The first Clara episode, when Clara was trapped in the Dalek, those Daleks were very, exactly the same. It was mentioned at the Doctor Who world tour that this, you'll just have to wait and see. That bitch slap, ow. This episode explored a lot about the morality of the Doctor. Generally, when she was talking to the Doctor, she felt like she was going to have a tantrum. Like she was two meters away from him and she was yelling. Luckily, she is not going on the TARDIS. She would ruin the entire experience. Ha ha ha! Probably the most undramatic ha ha ha. Missy is, who are you? I think you are the queen of heaven. I think you are God, but who are you? Um, heavenly, weaveny, god-like character. You could be God. I miss this so much, but hey, back to the quotes. You will get me back to my vessel. Yeah, not like that. Get it right. Will you get me back to my vessel? Please? Smaller on the outside. Yeah, it's a bit exciting if you go the other way. I got distracted by what? Oh, you can always find something. Who makes you smile? My brother. But he burned down a couple of hours ago, so he's really letting me down. Ah, you're fine. Build like a man. Thanks. He gave it a shot. Didn't work out. What's a Dalek? What do you expect? You asked me if you're a good man. And the answer is I don't know. But I think you're trying to be. And that's the point. A good thing about this episode that girl, just a minor character, 
we don't even know her name, I'll just call her schoolgirl chick, has some relevance to this season, in particular Danny Pink. Bad thing about this episode, that girl. Miss Tantrum, I forgot her name, who cares because she bugged me throughout the whole entire episode. I hope she doesn't return and I- Until next time. Later.